Hey, so glad you're with us. Joe Tessitore alongside Teddy Atlas, and we welcome you to the MGM Grand here on the Vegas Strip in beautiful Las Vegas, Nevada. Our main event should be a good one tonight. 12 rounds in the welterweight division between these two great warriors. Kermit Cintron's ring walk, something special in the air. You can just sense it out of him. He's making his way to the ring with a determined giddy up in his step. if they go the full 12 tonight. When a high stamina fighter is fighting another guy who's very well conditioned, is there any tendency for maybe some doubt to creep into his mind? Yeah, there always are. Because you always want to have the edge. We're human beings. Boxes are no different. They want to say they have a little edge in that area. But they need to know that this is exactly what they're ready to do. Blocks away that headshot. <laughs> Well, he's throwing it, but just missed. Isn't landing it. Really digging up to land that uppercut by Chico. Nice job to land that counter punch and getting away from one of his own by Chico. Ninety seconds to go here in this round. That's a good counter punch by Kermit Cintron. This is great action right from the start. What an opening round between these two. Turns on that exchange. Targeted counter punch by Chico. Both these guys obviously hopeful that their cut men will be up to the task tonight. What does it take to be a great cut man? Hey, you know, that's a great question. First of all, you better have the right coagulants, the right chemicals, the right medications in that corner. Avertine, adrenaline. And you have to have Vaseline where you can put it on it. But the most important thing, you have to be calm. You can't panic. And you have to put pressure on that cut, just the right amount of pressure. And then you put those medicines in it. And then you better have a fighter that can give you a round or two. He can move around and not get caught right away. Give the medicine a chance to work. Oh, he is damaged badly there. He may hit the floor. Really on target there with a three-punch combination. Combo! 
Back to fight action as a new round is underway. Of course, in that last round, it was fairly one-sided. He was hit pretty hard, and now he has to overcome that here. Yeah, you don't have to be Notre Dame to know that. I mean, everybody saw, you know, he got staggered, his knees buckled, did a little dance there. But what you have to really know now is know why you got hit and correct that immediately. his blocking ability that punch nowhere close that's a good counter punch by Kermit Cintron needs to improve that accuracy missed with the headshot Oh, and there you go. A digging counter punch by Kermit Cintron. His opponent wanted the body. He wouldn't give it to him. That is a big right hand after eating one himself. There's the headshot, but he parries it away. Devastating blow by Chico. Gets rid of that body shot. well with his guard that's a tried and true method that works out very well the counter punch landing by Chico you can see he's trying to score up top but off the mark there and this round comes to an end it is a round that was highly entertaining. These guys really put forth quite an effort. Well, they both have high engines. They have motors that never stop going. underway blocks that punch oh and there you go oh he is stunned he could go down he is staggered and stumbling boy he is shaky right there he is on shaky ground in the ring right now good defensive skill rid of that body shot. Now there's some 
blood, but it's underneath the eye. It's on the cheek, so it's not going to impair his vision. That shot unable to land. He returns the favor with a right hand of his own. He takes a shot and then commits to giving one right back. Was just off the mark. Wanted the body, he wouldn't give it to him. That was not well targeted by Chico. of the talk. So we come to the end of the round. And that was a round that was very productive for him. Now he heads back to his corner. And they're going to try to repeat the success they just had, I'm sure. Yes, he heard his opponent there. He's going to want to go back to what he was doing and remember what set up those big shots. So here we are, a new round underway, and in that last round, he got tagged. He got hit pretty hard, Teddy. Yeah, he did. He got caught. Now, the first thing is, we all know he got caught, but why did he get caught? He has to be able to decipher that in his head. He has to be able to have the answer to that so it doesn't happen again. see quite clearly that that cut is becoming a major problem for him. What does he have to do strategically here to deal with it? Well, there's three lines of defense, Joe, whether you're cut or you're not cut. One is use your legs. Get out of range a little bit. The other is move your head. The other is block. He has to pick one of those defensive strategies, one of those choices, and put it into place. Covers up nicely, gets rid of his opponent's body shot. Smart counterpunch by Chico. He has taken a lot of punishment here. Well, the special fighters find a way, even when it's desperate like this, to survive. He's got to find that way right now. Both men trading hooks. the floor oh look at that he's hurt but hey i give him credit he's hey, hurt hey, enough no, to know what no, to do no, now yeah the referee needs a crowbar to separate him
left hand by Chico. And we come to the end of the round, and he really got to his opponent that time, Teddy. He stunned him. Oh, he stunned him. He's hearing a little tweeting going on, a little singing from the birds in his head. Back to action here at the start of this round. That last round was very interesting because it was the kind of... Oh, that's got to hurt. He is not in good shape. He could be on the deck in moments. Come on now, work it out. Missed the body shot. You get the sense that they know no other way how to fight. They are going at it back and forth, toe to toe, punch for punch. Oh! Oh, he is stunned. He could go down. That worked out really well. Throwing off the right hand after getting tagged like that. Come on, guys, work it out. Work it out. No holding. And there he counters back against his opponent. He went from almost being knocked out to being right back in it. Teddy, there are opportunities that are here for him, aren't there? Yeah, counterpunch opportunities because he's got an opponent who's walking in a little bit. Now he has a chance to start to chuck something back at him a little. Teddy, this is one of those moments where you just wish you could pick up the phone and call up the world and say, tune in. Everybody should be watching this, right? I have a cell phone. I might do that right now. <laughs> start dialing. counter by Chico. I know it's good to throw a lot of punches, but it's better to do what we're seeing out of him right now, and that's land when you throw. Yeah, he's making everything count. He's putting everything out there for a purpose, placing punches beautifully. working well on the inside. How is he able to do this? How is he able to take these shots? You know, one time Muhammad Ali talks about taking a chin. He had one of the great chins of all time. And what he basically talked about was that when you start to get hit those shots, you start to go down a hallway. And then you go into a gray room. You go from a light room to a gray room. And at the end of the hallway, you see a dark room. You don't want to go to that dark room. And you have a choice. You put your feet down and you start backing up. I'm not going to that dark room. This guy is not being taken to that dark room. Able to show you his blocking ability. Oh, and he's got something for him himself. And it's a left hand. This has been a very entertaining fight. A little time to reflect here at the end of this round. My thoughts being this. I would really be surprised if we go to a decision here. It just has that kind of feel to it. Yeah, it has a feel to me like going to one of those places where you can eat all the pasta you can for one price, you know? And some guys get carried away. They eat about five bowls. Well, these guys, they're going to have a stomach ache at the end. Somebody is going to wind up not standing at the end. Let's get on that swelling. I'll press off that. Teddy, what do you think here as we start this round? I mean, you watch what he did in that last round, and you got to think that he can get himself back into this fight. Well, that's how he's got to be thinking it. That's kind of what he's made up of. He's not a front runner. You know, he's not a fast starter anyway. He's the kind of guy that his real strength is to be able to weigh you down. It's to have a great resolve and to be able to chip away, chip away. He's chipping. You get the sense that we have a fight in front of us that's going to be fought this way 
right to the bitter end, go the full distance, and be one of those fights that's greatly debated over. Well, you hope they get it the right way, but it's very important that they don't act like fans. They being judges, where they're not just watching leather be thrown from all angles, they're watching real closely to see who's landing the punches, who's landing the most clean, effective blows. Well, he took one right there, but then he targeted one right back. Kermit blocks it. And he returns on that exchange. Every gym's got one of those double-ended backs, right? They give you the movement, you gotta hit that moving target, work on your accuracy. He's making it so that his opponent never had to work on one, Teddy. He's just sitting right there, right in front. No head movement whatsoever. No, not at all. He didn't have one in his gym, that's for sure, because he just does not know how to move his head. The old times would say he gets insulted if you miss him. What a fight. What a great, great, non-stop action fight this has been. What a great round. Two minutes in, 60 seconds to go. Good block by Kermit. He tried to nab him up top, but was unable to connect. Kermit Syndrome's dealing with the aftermath of being rocked, but yet he hasn't changed anything. He's still sticking with that style. Well, that means panic has not set in. That's a good thing, Joe. He still believes he can get this thing done the way he came here to get it done. That punch just close. You see the accuracy now with that double jab up top. Very nice defensive guard there. Devastating blow by Chico. We come to the end of the round. A round that I'm having a tough time trying to think about who won. I can only imagine what the judges are thinking about. Teddy, if there's one thing you look for in a round like that, say, okay, I'm going to give it to this guy over this guy, what is it? Well, the first thing is, if I'm a judge, I take a little notepad and I make a little mark down blue or red corner what he did early. Because sometimes a judge has a tendency to forget what was done early and only go with what went late. Keep your hands up, all right? You're not protecting yourself. Halfway through this fight as this round gets underway here. Been interesting so far. Who knows what we're in store for down the stretch. And he returns on that exchange. What do you look for here out of the referee? What should he be looking for so that he knows, hey, listen, it's time to stop this fight. The cut has gotten so bad. Well, first of all, he's looking where the cut, where the blood is flowing from. It's above the eyes, so it's going down. It's impairing the vision. So that's going to get the referee's attention, and he's going to eventually bring the doctor up into the corner. Just missed that shot up top. Good job protecting himself. Kermit Cintrone's cut is right near his eye. That's the last place his corner's going to want to see any damage. Fine fundamentals, good counter punch.
around that feels like an all-time classic. Punch for punch, they're meeting each other. Wow, just sit back and enjoy this one. You can tell both guys are so determined to give everything they have here tonight. Joe, it's like the first time you heard Ray Charles sing God Bless America. You knew it was special. You knew you hadn't heard it before. I haven't seen anything like this before. <laughs> Defense just covering up down low. End of the round here. You can see the fans really enjoying themselves tonight. You know, Teddy, I think maybe more so than any other sport, boxing fans are not just passionate like in our sports, but they are smart and savvy. They know the game inside and out. Well, they follow the contestants. They do understand the parameters of the game. And you know what? They come here and they kind of demand from those fighters the performance that they expect from them. They expect a guy to box. You hear them every once in a while saying, hey, come on, you know, let's get that jab working. They act like coaches sometimes. They start up again, back to action here with another round. But who knows how much longer it'll last. This has been a completely one-sided fight. <laughs> Doing well on the outside. Teddy, I guess they wanted it. Look at this action going right out there, wasting no time. Now these guys are impatient. They couldn't wait to get at each other. Hitting his mark there, going upstairs. Oh, oh, he is stunned. He could go down. Chico's shoving his opponent there. Holy cow! Well, you knew his opponent could crack, and now he knows too. He is down. And right now, he's actually thinking about what he's going to do. Am I going to get up? Teddy, what should he be thinking about now? Well, right now, just surviving, but if he survives, then he better figure out why he was put on the floor. Was just off the mark. That's a good counter punch by Kermit Cintrone. He is damaged badly there. On, guys, he may hit the punch floor. Come on, punch it out. Well, his opponent doesn't like that, but that's exactly what he was trying to do. Just create some space there. And now he's acting like a fighter. Coming back with the right hand after getting scored upon. Comes right back at him with a left hand. Neither man slowing down as we have 60 seconds to go in this round. He tried to nab him up top but was unable to connect. The swelling just much too much. That's it. TKO. Technical knockout. Your winner. Chico's your winner by TKO. Teddy, another impressive performance by him. In every way, defensively, offensively, and...